What is going on my ninjas? It is Tuesday and we're out here mowing it away. Mowing it away ninjas. I just finished a big section of the front. Pizza's just finishing that corner down there. And uh, my ninja Brando is finishing up with the weed eating and we are getting ready to blow her off and call it a day for a dish yard. So, all you Instagram ninjas already know we didn't work yesterday because it was raining. It was raining all freaking day, really. It was too wet. So, since they Nick stayed on Granny's couch again. That's right, two days in a row. Nick Granny's couch, chilling, killing, playing video games, sleeping, napping. It's about all you can do. It's raining. There's nothing to do. So, we're back at it today. It is a little wet, so we got to be real careful. Every time it's wet ninjas, you gotta be real careful how you're turning. A lot of you already know that. You know, you, you gotta make sure you do your three point turn. Otherwise you're gonna be messing up the yard with your tires. So here's Pace, he's coming. He's dropping that gate. Oh, he's trying to blow off the driveway. Okay, sometimes we'll blow off the driveway. Um, see, I just finished with the 61 right here. So far, I, this yard was not really tall because it's, uh, you know, we, we keep it every two weeks, but it hasn't really fully just come in yet. It's starting to. But so far, a lot of guys are like, oh, Nick, those right standards, wait till the grass gets even a little bit of wet. It's going to suck. Seems to be doing fine so far. Walk it, walk it out, walk it out, boy. as long as you would normally on a weed you know weed eating on a on a good sized yard so it's okay to edge backwards for a few seconds here and there but when you're weed eating you walk forward i think we got that oh yeah all right what oh, 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 oh. What, what's going on peace yeah i've been wanting to start man <laughs> <laughs> all right there you go there you go One in particular ninja that's been asking for a 36 scab V-Ride. Three point turn, I think, especially I, when the yard is wet as it is. I think he's lucky enough to have the right 36 inch mower, but it, it applies in both situations. They're both mm -hmm. operate basically the same. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Can you uh, properly show us, watch you tear up this yard now on camera, but can oh, you, uh, well, you should do it on grass pace. Do it in the front yard and the, back. The best advice I can give you is never have either one of your wheels stationary while you're turning. 
Okay. You never want this wheel to sit here just like it is and just spin this way. You always want the wheels to be moving either forward or backwards, even in the littlest, littlest bit mm -hmm. counts. Because what happens is when it sits there, it's just all the weights on it, and it's just going to tear up whatever grass is underneath that wheel. Doing really any conditions, but especially wet especially conditions. Especially wet. Especially right. Wet. Okay. All right, peace. Go at it, and I'll uh, let's show them how to do a proper three-way turn. <laughs> All right, ninjas, we're done with this yard. We're getting ready to uh, go to the next one. But, so a lot of you said, Nick, those hater blockers, they're so expensive, Nick. I'd have to refinance a car and my truck and... So Sensei Nick heard you, and I want you to know that same hater blockers, maybe a little bit different on the frame, are coming. SGNinjas.com. It'll be a link, and they're going to be over for about $20. That's right, ninjas. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. $20. Instead of sixty dollars, okay. So just keep a lookout on that. It's not there yet, but it's coming. That's more my price range. Right Are you now. gonna get? See, pizza's like. Next I week. think I'm gonna get it now. Next week. Next week. I'm not paying sixty dollars for a pair of shades. I'm gonna wear to work. Yeah. Yeah. This is a six dollar special, and they've been doing fine for how long? I don't know. A couple weeks. Well, I've had them for like two, three months. Okay. So twenty dollars. Oh, Pace has been like putting this. Greasy stuff, honest, gooey stuff on his beard. Honest Amish. Honest Amish. Amazing, I love it. He said it makes his beard like super smooth and soft. Yeah. It's actually making it more red. It is, but it's laying it down too to where it's actually staying more in shape and it's not all spraggly. What's crazy is piece right around here, you have major white alert. Oh, I know. All what about this. your hair? Oh, that's it. Oh, dude. Too. You got some whites everywhere. You know what? That's Stressing me out, man. <laughs> Stressing me get out. Get out of here. <laughs> if Brando's gonna get some of the beard oil, and he's gonna be in the bathroom like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Brando, you need to just show him how it's done. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> wait, 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 what? What you got, Brando? Uh oh, uh oh. What you got, Brando? Oh snap! What are you trying to tell peace? What are you trying to tell peace? Oh! oh that's, that, that's that don't pay bill you know money. What the money brings <laughs> the haters. Oh. That's that no bill money, man. You got the hater blockers. Yeah. No bill money. <laughs> what was you saying, peace? That's a no bill money. Who? Did you did what? you spend a hundred dollars on groceries yesterday? Hello. <laughs> did you spend a hundred dollars on groceries, peace? Yeah, just about. Yeah. Brando. Man's gotta eat. Man's gotta eat. See, you pizza as as keeps like he's picking on him. You live with Granny. Mm -hmm. You live with Granny. When you work as hard as I do, you gotta eat, man. Well, every time you say you live, you live with Granny, you know what he says to his nanny. I love you, Nana. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. I love you, Nana. We just finished this yard up. Pizza was getting ready to grab that blower. And what did you notice, Pizza? When was the last time you tightened that? The last day we worked, I believe. The last day we worked because we yeah, because it was loose. Yeah. So guys, this is getting loose. And so we're having to Man, tighten it. Is it all the way? That's tight. Why are you uh, loosening it? Because I'm trying to figure out why it's not. Loosen both of them maybe? Maybe one's tighter than the other? I don't know. You see how far down that one's in? Mm -hmm. That one, it's like it wouldn't go down farther. That's just 
to where it rubs. Maybe if we take it like that. Hold on, let me put my hand on it. Here. We almost lost the backpack blower last. I didn't get to re record ninjas because we were on our way home and I was done with the camera. That won't go no tighter. Try the other one. You loosen the other one. And we had to literally pull over to the side of the road and pizza had to readjust the backpack blower and of course retighten it. One more? You wanna do a little more? I mean don't don't like you don't need to go all the way down, just is that better? Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. But why is this one not doing anything? But that one is not wanting to go as all the way as low as this one. So what I'm thinking is there's only really one screw holding it. Or holding it better yeah, I mean, than the it's it's touching it. It's just not doing what I want. We'll keep an eye on it, ninjas, and I'll keep you posted if anything changes or if we have to retighten it again. about these right three in. four here what happened i always curve right here i don't know why it's weird also uh i did notice right here you didn't cut it didn't yeah miss. yeah but overall sir what do you think about the right mowers i love them dude. huh i love them they cut so nice should we remind them how much we love these right mowers i love the right mower <laughs> you know why because it was the right mower yeah it's the right mower <laughs>
Sensei Nick did the checkers. Well, wait, wait, wait. The mower striped it, right? So do you get credit for that? You just operated it. Uh -huh. Salty piece. Hey, that's a good point. Let's talk about that coming right up. Does the operator get credit if a mower has a striping kit and is striping? The mower's doing the job. Does the operator get extra credit besides just operating and using, you know, mowing the yard? But I am the mower. But you're not striping. But I am the mower. But you're not striping. Let's talk about it in the truck. Come on. But it looks good. Turned out beautiful. Pizza went that way, I went that way. <laughs> what was that piece? The thing is so front light, this isn't even really it's not a hill. It's not a hill at all. No, it's, it's just, just a little bit. By the way, uh, first and foremost, tell them they're going to be already like, Peace, Nick! Why are you entering the yard through the bed? There's no other way. There's no other way. There's no other way. And the customer gave us... Permission. Permission. Uh -huh. But this isn't much of a hill, and it's wanting to stand up on me. Hold on, hold on. Are you ready to catch it, Peace? Yeah, you... Oh! Now, if we can do that by our hand, imagine what we can do by letting out on the levers and let the, the engine and the hydraulics do it for us. A real, real quick, last thing, Pace. But Pace, it's such a small yard. Why just not push my way? <laughs> so this guy got tired of having to have people pay for himself or pay people to mow the front yard. So he just turned the whole yard into pine straw. Look at that. The whole front yard ninjas, pine straw. Well, that's something you don't see every day. I want to talk about this. And uh, I'm running low on battery, so we're not going to take this too long, but... Rando? Yep. <clears throat> I know you've only started on the, on the scab, and you're just kind of getting the hang of it, and we're going to have more of that, of course, moving forward. But what do you think? Should a operator get striping credit for something the mower is doing anyway? No. No. Nope. So do you're saying the operator should just get the mowing credit? Yeah whether the mower stripes a particular yard or not, or if he's mowing a yard that can't be striped in that yard. Correct. Or he's using a mower that's not stripeable, or the mower's not striping. So you're saying no? Nope. Peace has got a mouthful. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, you do. Food, he's eating a sandwich. But uh, Peace, what do you think? Yes. Yes? yes. What? Yep. Why? Explain yourself to the jury. <clears throat> If I was not <laughs> operating that mower, okay, would that mower stripe? If you were not operating that mower, would that mower stripe? Mm -hmm. If there was no operator, would that mower stripe? If the mower is just sitting piece, mm -hmm. it's not going to do anything. Not just what stripe. It's not going to get cut. What I'm saying is an operator has a play in it whether it stripes or whether it doesn't stripe. You're still operating that machine. That machine is not... What's the word? <laughs> uh... What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word, Pace? Uh, word of the day, Ninja. Autonomous. Ninjas. That mower is not autonomous. It does not go out there and mow that yard by itself. Okay. Here's the thing, Pace. If you're not on that mower and mowing, there's going to be somebody else on that mower, whether that's me or another employee. So that doesn't really answer the question, is the operator getting extra credit? because that particular yard or that particular mower is striping. Now, you're on a mower, so that yard is gonna get cut because you're on a mower. So you're gonna get mowing credit and you're gonna be mowing yards that are stripable and non-stripable, but you're gonna be using mowers that are striping nicer than other mowers. Other mowers may not stripe at all. So why should you get extra credit because a yard is striping and it's something the mower is doing? Please explain. When I'm on a yard that's nice and stripable, I go a little slower, I take my time a little bit more because it's gonna be more noticeable if you're bouncing around or you're jumping around or you're going crooked. Because that yard does stripe, it's noticeable. Okay, so this leads me to the next question now. Mm -hmm. 
Are you saying that there's all yards that you don't go slower or you're just rushing to get done and you're flying? Because you know what happens when you're flying? Your blades don't catch every piece of grass. Yeah, but you have to understand that we know these yards. We know what yards we can go fast on. We know what yards we can go slow on. We know where the holes are in 95% of these yards. So there's some yards where you can go faster, some yards you can't. Then how do you explain the fact that if you would come up to a nice yard and it's a beautiful yard and you think you can stripe but you're using a mower and the mower doesn't end up striping? How do you explain that? Is that some, it got something to do with the operator? No. <laughs> so think about it. We pull up with a beautiful, nice, plush fescue yard. And you, you, we, let's say we have certain mowers. No, doesn't, not going to say any names, but we have certain mowers and they just cannot stripe. And you even try, put your effort in it to try to pull some nice little stripe, please. And it doesn't do it. Should you be discredited? Because you can't throw down some stripes? No. Okay. So you're wrong at this one, my friend. An operator should not get extra credit for a yard striping or not striping. He shouldn't get discredited neither. There's yards that can stripe and there's mowers that can, but there's yards that can't and there's mowers that can't. Now, an operator, in my opinion, gets a credit for mowing the yard. Now, if the, the yard is stripable, it makes it beautiful, but a mower is doing that and then so is that yard. Right, but the mower wouldn't be doing that if there wasn't an operator controlling uh, the mower. Uh, peace, really? That's still my argument, regardless. Here, peace. Lost little violin playing back here. <laughs> uh, it's not just file piece, sorry. I mean, in my opinion, I, I mean, but here's the thing, you, you are making a statement, but when I hit you with the other fact, you're not, you don't have an answer. How do you justify if you pull up in a, mo a yard that's so beautiful and healthy and you are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna throw down some stripes, this yard will stripe, it's a beautiful fescue yard. And you got a mower that doesn't strike. Right, but you just said I'm gonna throw down some stripes. No, no, I'm just saying, like, what if you pull up at a no, healthy but, but yard? You, as the operator, said I'm gonna throw down some stripes. Oh, yeah, and a mower doesn't stripe. <laughs> so what? What do you? What do you? So, so should you be discredited because you can't stripe in that yard because the mower can't stripe? No, but we're not talking about getting discredited. We're talking about extra credit. That's vice versa. Yeah, it's vice versa. Why are you making this so complicated, Peace? You're stressing me the because hell out. I'm trying to win, okay? <laughs> That's why. You can't win on this because an operator cannot get extra credit for something a mower is doing. Now, here's how an operator will get extra credit. If he mows a beautiful yard and it doesn't strike, he finishes mowing, he takes the mower back to the trailer, and then we have a special roller that we push around and you want to push the whole yard back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to get those stripes. Now that's something the operator did. He took an extra piece of equipment. He took his time. He went back and he made those stripes. I but, still say the operator is doing it regardless because I'm operating the machine that will not operate itself. But then what about if you're operating a machine on a healthy yard and the machine does not stripe? Then it doesn't stripe. We're not talking about yards that don't strike. So should you We're be discredited? Stripe, should not, you not be striping. should you be discredited on that? Sure. Okay. Sure. If it gives me credit for the stripes, discredit me on that. <laughs> no, <laughs> that yes. doesn't work that way. Does not work that I way. Now, some people might say, yeah, to make your own reality. Yeah, I reject your reality and substitute my own. Okay? okay. All right. Now, some people will say, if it has a striping kit, it doesn't work. It doesn't count try to stripe a yard without a striping kit. I've striped yards. Some people kit. will say striping kit or not, as long as the operator gets creative with it and, and makes it nice and straight and all that. Okay, but my point is, it's not about all that little detail stuff. My point is, does the operator get extra credit for using a mower that stripes the yard and also mowing a yard that's an easy stripable yard? Simple. My answer to that is no, because the machine is doing it regardless of who the operator is. If it's not Peace, it'll be Brando. If it's not Brando, it'll be me. If, if it's, it's not, not me, an operator, it won't do it. Then the yard doesn't get cut. Well, well. Whoop, whoop. Somebody else will well, cut then it. The argument's null and void at that point. No, peace. It's a. It's you're in a circle of a dead end, and you can't freaking well, get out listen, of it. Listen, we've had this conversation twice now, so let's just leave it up to the YouTubians. Okay, YouTubians. Mm -hmm. Let them decide.
What do you think, Utubians? Should the operator get extra credit or not if he's using a mower that's striping or a mower that can't stripe? Mm -hmm. You know what to do. It's, it's down there. Comment, comment below. Let us know because this has been going on all day and I've been battling with this dude. <laughs> all right? And he can't seem to get it. So prove him wrong. It's not that I can't get it. It's that I refuse to get you, it. He, ref he actually gets it. He's just refusing to get it. <laughs> I reject the reality <laughs> and substitute my own. Okay, which is wrong. So wrong, thanks for what. Right. Stop! <laughs> thanks for watching, my ninjas. Take care. See you tomorrow. And as always.